guys at Sea Survival and Hunting here. Today we're taking a look at a little uh, piece of kit that I put together that I like to call my ammo can skinning kit, cleaning kit for um, small game and up to big game. Uh, this kit has different applications for stuff like uh, squirrel, fish, um, all the way up to deer, rabbits, hogs, coyotes, pretty much whatever you're skinning. Just kind of have something if you need to field dress your animal out in the field, you're able to do so. So just to take a quick look on the inside, flip it over just like this. And just to start off, I have two standard trash bags and the reason being is whenever I'm uh, skinning a larger animal, I can put the guts on the inside of this and dispose of it properly instead of just leaving it out in the woods. I have a couple knives here, I'll just set them all out first and talk about it. I have a buck, 110 I believe, no 121 skinning knife. This works great for skinning deer. Uh, it can fillet fish uh, pretty easily, a larger fish that is. It's good for squirrel. Um, really whatever you put it to, it holds a blade well, so this is a great uh, knife to add into the collection. As you can see, we have a little CRKT minimalist bowie knife in here for you know uh, small animals such as squirrel and rabbits and uh, doves and small birds. If you want to do it a certain way, this works great in the sense that I don't need to you know use a six-inch bladed knife for a small animal that weighs a pound. The next one we have a review of this. This is a uh, the Gerber Myth uh, hunting knife kit. It has a small little bladed knife, and I can use this to fillet small fish. And then it has a larger skinning kit. Uh, kit. It has a larger skinning knife that I can use for a uh, deer. All of them have a good edge on them. It has a gut hook right here, so I can go up and uh, for hogs and deer and um, bigger animals that I have uh, killed in the past that I need to skin out in the field. And then just to kind of move these off to the side, move them up a little bit so I can have room. Another piece of kit that I have in here is a Gerber skinning kit. Now, this knife right here did not come in this kit. I uh, purposely put this in here just to kind of keep um, things compact and put together. But this is similar to the Havilon uh, skinning knife. It has surgical blades that you can replace, which are wicked sharp. I mean, this thing will cut through anything. This is a great skinner. Uh, hopefully, we can have a video coming up of uh, this thing in action so it can show you how well it does and performs out in the field. There's a pair of Gerber game shears, which work very well for the application. Uh, you know, clipping squirrel legs off the animal uh, whenever you need to get them off. Rabbits, it can cut um, smaller bones. Uh, definitely won't cut, you know, a deer leg. I mean, you, you, if you got a good, good grip on it, and if you're one strong man, you can definitely do it. But that is definitely not the application here. This one is uh, much for a uh, small game. And then the last thing in here. It's just extra blades for the uh, little Gerber. To keep my knife sharp, I have the Edgemaker Pro in here. I bought this for $20. This is the deluxe kit. It comes with um, a core sharpening right here. Sharpening rods, you can do either one. Uh, fine sharpening. It's a much finer grit, so it really hones the blade and then polishing, which is really the polishing when you stick your blade in there and go across like that. And that really hones it quite well. And these little grooves right here, you can actually stick your game shears or other scissors that you're using out in the field, put them in there and run it. Depending on which way you flip it, is depending on if it's left-handed or right-handed scissors. Uh, this product worked a lot better than what I thought it would. Uh, the people online really gave it a good name and it really, uh, stands up to that name that they gave it. And yeah, this is a lot of stuff in this kit, but this is just kind of a small kit to have that has applications 
uh, for pretty much any animal they might have to where if I'm going hunting one day for squirrels, I can just grab this bag, put it in the bag, and save them out of my land. And there's a hog in the trap. I have what it takes to skin the hog right there as well. So it's just um, easy when I'm out in the field. I don't have to be like, oh, uh, man, I forgot something. I have some more gloves in here because whenever I'm skinning stuff I prefer to have gloves because you never know what type of stuff could be on the animal and it's just easier whenever it comes to cleaning yourself after uh, you finish your task. I have some bags right here especially for squirrels and hogs because uh, small hogs you can quarter them to put the meat in and as well as some more bags to put more meat in just to kind of have where I can go ahead and put it in the cooler and not have just you know raw meat floating around on ice where my drinks and stuff are in the cooler. You know, so all this is just as a couple more trash bags to put uh, disposable meat in. Uh, another glove, so there's two sets of gloves. And lastly, uh, some paracord because I may need to drag the animal out if it's a larger weight or I could string this up on a tree and have it hanging if I don't want to field dress it on the ground. So this is just a quick video. This is the overlook. I have the Gerber Myth skinning kit in here. CRKT Minimalist. Uh, Buck 121 Gerber Game Shears with a little uh, Gerber. Um, I forgot the actual name of it, but it's very similar to the Havilon skinning kit. Um, the Edge Maker Pro, and then just some trash bags and gloves and bags to um, distribute the meat and the waste accordingly. And it all fits perfectly in this little ammo can. Throw it in your truck whenever you go out on your land to hunt throughout the day, especially if you don't use a processor. Um, I do take some of my deer to the processor depending on how late I kill it at night, but like squirrels, hogs, rabbits, and stuff like that, I just use this kit to skin it through. Um, we have a video of uh, skinning a squirrel. So, and I believe it's with this knife right here, the Buck 121. So make sure to go check it out. And so guys, thanks for watching. This is SC Survival and Hunting. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.